Hello everybody and welcome to another naval action ship review. So this ship review is going to be a quick one because I'm just going to take a unique look at a unique ship so I won't be comparing this ship to any other ship which saves a lot of time. So the ship in question, the mortar brig. You can see her sailing there, she has 12 guns, her special armament however as is in the name is her mortar. She has a battle rating of 75 and she has a crew of 120 which is enough for enough. And you can get the blueprint of the mortar brig by crafting regular brigs or navy brigs and it's craftable from level 11 or onwards. So, the mortar brig has an armament of either two 6 pound cannons or 18 pound carronades for stern chasers. Or for her broadside guns, guns, she has 12 6 pound cannons or 18 pound carronades. I recommend carronades. The unique aspect however is her mortar, which puts her in a unique role where she is excellent for shooting fortifications and large ships which is sitting still. As soon as the ships start moving however, the inaccuracies of the mortar kind of hurt, but as long as you're, well, they're standing still, you'll be able to lay down the hurt on them and they'll be crying. So, armor and structure wise, the mortar big is uh, okay. She has a bow structure of 538, side structure of 2150 and a stern structure of 215. Her armor is 24cm for the bow, side structure is 40cm for the side, and 16cm for the stern. However, she, due to her armament and her armor such structure, she'll at best be able to fight small targets like Lynx, Cariot and Pickle in a broadside fight. Well, that is only if you look at her structure and armament. If you take into account sailing quality, you're going to start to cry. So it's basically shit. Like it's the worst, one of the worst in game. Um, if you don't include the speed penalty from gun, she is slowest ship in the game out of everything, including the god awfully slow victory. She, um, her turn rate is also shit, which is about the same as a fifth rate frigate, large fifth rate frigate. I'm not going to mention specifics due to uh, I've I've found some weird things regarding turn rate, so I'm not too sure on the number. But quality right now. It changes your turn rate and ship speed, so I'm going to omit the number for now. And her sailing profile is also, also basically shit. So, yeah, the mortar brig is shit when it comes to sailing. So, what do I think of the mortar brig? Well, she's a very specialized ship. You can't exactly use her as an open world fighter. She is very much made to get rid of fortifications, so she might prove to be a worthy tool in port battles. I haven't been in port battles with mortar brigs used, but then again, I haven't been in a lot of port battles lately, so don't take my word for anything. But from what I can understand, she will be she will be a must-have in port battles when they include landing battles because land in port battles since those 64 gunners are going to be brutal. So you're going to have to use those uh, mortar brigs to be able to shoot them while out of range. So you'll be uh, have to protect your uh, mortar brigs while they sit there, shoot at fortifications before you can move in and capture. So yeah, she, she's a highly specialized ship. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the mortar brig. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.